The United States, a land of opportunity and freedom, has always beckoned individuals from around the world. Every year, millions dream of stepping onto American soil, whether for work, study, or simply to experience the American way of life. However, the path to obtaining a U.S. visa is often complex and fraught with challenges. Understanding the intricacies of the U.S. visa application process is crucial for anyone hoping to make their American dream a reality. The U.S. immigration system is governed by a strict set of laws and regulations. These regulations are designed to ensure that only those who meet specific criteria are granted entry into the country. Visa applications are meticulously scrutinized by consular officers who are tasked with determining the eligibility of each applicant. While the process may seem daunting, being well informed about the common reasons for visa rejections can significantly increase your chances of success. This essay aims to provide a comprehensive overview of the most frequent pitfalls encountered by visa applicants. By shedding light on these potential obstacles, we hope to equip you with the knowledge and tools you need to navigate the visa application process with confidence. Remember, thorough preparation and a clear understanding of the requirements are essential for a successful visa application. One of the primary concerns of U.S. immigration officials is ensuring that visa applicants have the financial means to support themselves during their stay in the United States. This is to prevent individuals from becoming a financial burden on the U.S. government or engaging in unauthorized employment. Consequently, providing adequate financial documentation is a cornerstone of any successful visa application. Applicants must demonstrate their ability to cover their expenses, including travel, accommodation, living costs, and any study or program fees. This can be achieved through various documents such as bank statements, income tax returns, employment verification letters, and property deeds. The specific requirements vary depending on the type of visa you are applying for, so it's crucial to consult the official guidelines provided by the U.S. Department of State. Insufficient financial documentation is a leading cause of visa rejections. Consular officers need to be convinced that you have a stable financial background and will not be reliant on public assistance or illegal work. Simply stating your intentions or providing insufficient evidence is not enough. You must present a clear and convincing financial profile that aligns with the requirements of your specific visa category. Another crucial aspect of the U.S. visa application process is demonstrating strong ties to your home country. This is particularly important for non-immigrant visas, which are intended for temporary stays in the United States. The burden of proof lies with the applicant to convince the consular officer that they have compelling reasons to return home after their authorized period of stay. Strong ties can encompass various factors, including family relationships, employment commitments, property ownership, and social affiliations. The stronger and more well-documented these ties are, the higher your chances of visa approval. Conversely, a lack of strong ties can raise concerns about your intentions and lead to visa rejection. For instance, a young single applicant with no significant assets or family obligations might be perceived as a potential immigration risk. On the other hand, an applicant with a spouse, children, a stable job, and property ownership is more likely to be viewed as having compelling reasons to return home. Remember, the key is to clearly and convincingly demonstrate that your life is firmly rooted in your home country and that you have no intention of overstaying your visa. Certain U.S. visa categories are specifically designed for individuals seeking employment in the United States. These work visas often come with strict requirements regarding the applicant's qualifications, skills, and the nature of the intended employment. It's crucial to ensure that your qualifications and the proposed job align perfectly with the specific requirements of the chosen visa category. For instance, an H-1B visa for specialty occupations requires the applicant to possess a bachelor's degree or higher in a field related to the intended employment. The employer must also demonstrate that the position requires specialized knowledge and that the applicant possesses the necessary qualifications. Failure to meet these stringent requirements can lead to visa rejection. Similarly, other work visas, such as the L-1 visa for intracompany transferees, have specific criteria regarding the applicant's previous employment history and the nature of the new position. It's essential to thoroughly research the requirements of the chosen visa category and ensure that your application clearly demonstrates your eligibility. 
Section 214B of the Immigration and Nationality Act is a significant hurdle for many visa applicants. This section creates a presumption that every visa applicant is an intending immigrant unless they can prove otherwise. This means that the burden of proof rests on the applicant to convince the consular officer that they have non-immigrant intent. To overcome this presumption, applicants must present compelling evidence that their intended stay in the United States is temporary and that they have strong ties to their home country. This can include documentation related to their travel plans, the purpose of their visit, their financial situation, and their personal and professional commitments outside the U.S. Failing to overcome the presumption of immigrant intent is a major reason for visa rejections. Consular officers are trained to look for red flags that might indicate an intention to remain in the United States beyond the authorized period of stay. Therefore, it's crucial to be prepared to address any concerns the officer might have and present a strong case for your non-immigrant intent. The U.S. immigration system places a high value on honesty and transparency. Any past violations of U.S. immigration law, such as overstaying a previous visa or working without authorization, can severely jeopardize your chances of obtaining a new visa. Similarly, misrepresenting information or submitting fraudulent documents is a serious offense that can lead to permanent inadmissibility to the United States. It's essential to disclose all relevant information accurately and completely in your visa application, even if it might seem detrimental to your case. Attempting to conceal past violations or provide false information will only exacerbate the situation if discovered. Consular officers have access to extensive databases and can easily verify the information you provide. If you have a history of immigration violations, it's highly recommended to consult with an experienced immigration attorney. An attorney can assess your situation, guide you through the waiver application process if applicable, and help you present your case in the most favorable light. U.S. immigration law is a complex and ever-evolving field. The regulations are intricate, the procedures are detailed, and the consequences of errors can be severe. While it's possible to navigate the visa application process independently, seeking professional guidance from an experienced immigration attorney can significantly increase your chances of success. An immigration attorney can provide invaluable assistance in various aspects of the visa application process. They can help you determine the most appropriate visa category for your situation, guide you through the documentation requirements, review your application for errors and inconsistencies, and represent you during the visa interview. Moreover, an attorney can provide crucial legal advice if you have a complicated immigration history, require a waiver for past violations, or are facing other legal challenges. While legal representation comes at a cost, the benefits of having an expert on your side can far outweigh the financial investment, particularly in complex cases. For many visa categories, the visa interview is a crucial stage in the application process. This is where the consular officer assesses your credibility, your intentions, and your overall eligibility for the visa. Making a good impression during the interview is essential for increasing your chances of approval. Be prepared to answer questions about your background, your travel plans, your financial situation, and your ties to your home country. Answer all questions honestly and directly, avoiding any attempts to evade or mislead the officer. Any inconsistencies or evasive answers can raise red flags and damage your credibility. Dress professionally for the interview, arrive on time, and maintain a respectful and cooperative demeanor throughout the process. Remember, the consular officer is simply trying to assess your eligibility based on the information you provide. Be confident, be yourself, and focus on presenting your case clearly and concisely. The U.S. visa application process is highly detail-oriented. Even seemingly minor errors or omissions in your documentation can lead to delays or rejections. It's crucial to meticulously review all required documents, ensuring they are complete, accurate, and up-to-date. Common documentation errors include missing signatures, incorrect dates, incomplete information, and inconsistencies between different documents. Pay close attention to the specific requirements for each document, including the format, the language, and the supporting evidence required. It's highly recommended to create a checklist of all required documents and meticulously verify each item before submitting your application. If you're unsure about any aspect of the documentation requirements, 
Don't hesitate to seek clarification from the U.S. Embassy or consulate or consult with an immigration attorney. In some cases, visa applications may be placed under administrative processing, which means additional time is needed to review the application or conduct further background checks. This can be due to various reasons, such as security concerns, incomplete information, or the need for additional documentation. If your application is placed under administrative processing, it's essential to remain patient and cooperative. The processing time can vary significantly depending on the complexity of the case and the workload of the embassy or consulate. You can check the status of your application online or contact the embassy or consulate for updates. While administrative processing can be frustrating, it's important to remember that it's a routine part of the visa application process for some cases. Avoid contacting the embassy or consulate excessively, as this can further delay the process. If you have any concerns or questions, consult with an immigration attorney for guidance. Obtaining a U.S. visa can be a challenging but attainable goal. By understanding the common reasons for visa rejections and following the best practices outlined in this essay, you can significantly increase your chances of success. Remember, thorough preparation, meticulous attention to detail, and a clear understanding of the requirements are key. Start by researching the specific requirements for your chosen visa category and gathering all necessary documentation well in advance. Ensure your financial documentation is complete and convincing and clearly demonstrate your strong ties to your home country. Be honest and transparent throughout the application process, disclosing all relevant information accurately. If you have a complicated immigration history or require a waiver for past violations, seek professional guidance from an experienced immigration attorney. An attorney can provide invaluable assistance in navigating the complexities of U.S. immigration law and presenting your case in the most favorable light. Remember, the U.S. visa application process is a journey that requires patience, perseverance, and a commitment to meeting the requirements set forth by the U.S. government.